Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Shipping and Logistics. In this video, I'm going to be talking about break bulk and Roro shipments. These are two different types of shipping methods that are used to transport cargo that doesn't fit into standard shipping containers. What is break bulk shipping? Break bulk shipping is the transportation of cargo that does not fit into standard shipping containers. This could include anything from oversized machinery to construction equipment to agricultural products. Break bulk cargo is typically loaded and unloaded using cranes, forklifts, or other heavy machinery. There are a number of advantages to break bulk shipping. First, it is a more flexible option than container shipping. Break bulk cargo can be loaded and unloaded at any port, while container shipping is typically limited to ports that have container cranes. Second, break bulk shipping can be more cost effective than container shipping for large or heavy cargo. Third, Break bulk shipping can be a more secure option than container shipping, as the cargo is not exposed to the elements or to theft. However, there are also some disadvantages to break bulk shipping. First, it is a slower option than container shipping. Break bulk cargo must be loaded and unloaded by hand, which can take time. Second, break bulk shipping can be more expensive than container shipping for small or light cargo. Third, break bulk shipping can be more difficult to arrange than container shipping. There are a few different types of break bulk cargo. 1. Project cargo. This type of cargo is large and or heavy and requires special handling. 1. Project cargo can include things like wind turbines, oil rigs, and aircraft. 2. Bulk cargo. This type of cargo is loose and unpackaged. 2. Bulk cargo can include things like coal, grain, and ore. 3. Roll on, roll off. Roro. Cargo. This type of cargo is wheeled or tracked and can be driven onto and off of the ship. 3. Roro cargo can include things like cars, trucks, and buses. What is Roro shipping? Roro shipping is the transportation of cargo that is rolled on and off of a ship. This could include anything from cars and trucks to motorcycles and boats. Roro cargo is typically loaded and unloaded using ramps or elevators. There are a number of advantages to Roro shipping. First, it is a more efficient option than container shipping. Roro cargo can be loaded and unloaded quickly and easily, which can save time and money. Second, Roro shipping is a more flexible option than container shipping. Roro cargo can be loaded and unloaded at any port, while container shipping is typically limited to ports that have container cranes. Third, Roro shipping can be a more cost-effective option for bulky or heavy cargo. However, there are also some disadvantages to Roro shipping. First, Roro shipping is not suitable for all types of cargo. Cargo that is too tall or too wide may not fit on a Roro ship. Second, Roro shipping can be more dangerous than container shipping. Cargo that is not properly secured can shift during the voyage and cause damage to the ship or other cargo. Roro shipping has a number of advantages over other types of shipping, including 1. It is more efficient because the cargo does not need to be lifted or handled. 2. It is more secure because the cargo is protected from the elements and from theft. 3. It is more flexible because the ships can be loaded and unloaded quickly. When to use break bulk shipping or Roro shipping? The best type of shipping to use depends on the type of cargo that you are shipping. If you are shipping project cargo, Roro shipping is usually the best option. If you are shipping bulk cargo, Break bulk shipping is usually the best option. However, if you are shipping Roro cargo, break bulk shipping can be used as well. The cost of break bulk shipping and Roro shipping. The cost of break bulk shipping and Roro shipping varies depending on the type of cargo, the distance it is being shipped, and the shipping company that you use. However, in general, break bulk shipping is more expensive than Roro shipping. What are the advantages of break bulk shipping? Break bulk shipping has a number of advantages over other types of shipping, including 1. Flexibility. Break bulk cargo can be loaded and unloaded at any port, regardless of the size or type of port. 1. This makes break bulk shipping a good option for cargo that is being transported to or from remote locations. 2. Cost effectiveness. Break bulk shipping can be more cost effective than other types of shipping, such as container shipping, for large or heavy cargo. This is because break bulk cargo does not need to be packaged in containers, which can save on shipping costs. 3. Customization. 
Brake bulk shipping can be customized to meet the specific needs of the cargo. For example, the cargo can be loaded and unloaded in a specific order, or it can be secured in a specific way to prevent damage. What are the disadvantages of brake bulk shipping? Brake bulk shipping also has a number of disadvantages, including 1. Slow transit times. Brake bulk cargo typically takes longer to transport than containerized cargo. This is because brake bulk cargo must be loaded and unloaded at each port, which can add time to the journey. 2. Higher risk of damage. Brake bulk cargo is more vulnerable to damage than containerized cargo. This is because brake bulk cargo is not protected from the elements, and it can be damaged during loading and unloading. 3. Higher insurance costs. The higher risk of damage associated with brake bulk shipping means that insurance costs are also higher. This can add to the overall cost of shipping brake bulk cargo. What are the advantages of Roro shipping? Roro shipping has a number of advantages over other types of shipping, including 1. Speed. Roro ships can typically travel faster than other types of ships, which can reduce transit times. 2. Efficiency. Roro ships can be loaded and unloaded quickly and easily, which can save time and money. 3. Flexibility. Roro ships can be used to transport a wide variety of cargo, including vehicles, machinery, and other wheeled or tracked equipment. 4. Cost effectiveness. Roro shipping can be more cost effective than other types of shipping, such as container shipping, for cargo that can be driven onto and off of the ship. What are the disadvantages of Roro shipping? Roro shipping also has a number of disadvantages, including 1. Limited availability. Roro ships are not as common as other types of ships, which can limit their availability. 2. Port restrictions. Not all ports are equipped to handle Roro ships. 2. This can limit the destinations that Roro cargo can be shipped to. 3. Higher insurance costs. The higher risk of damage associated with Roro shipping means that insurance costs are also higher. This can add to the overall cost of shipping Roro cargo. When should you use brake bulk shipping? Brake bulk shipping is a good option when you are shipping large, heavy, or irregularly shaped cargo. This type of cargo is not suitable for container shipping, and it can be difficult or expensive to ship using other methods. Brake bulk shipping is also a good option when you need to ship cargo to or from remote locations. When should you use Roro shipping? Roro shipping is a good option when you are shipping vehicles, machinery, or other wheeled or tracked equipment. This type of cargo is easy to load and unload from Roro ships, and it can be transported quickly and efficiently. Roro shipping is also a good option when you need to ship cargo to or from ports that are not equipped to handle containerized cargo. In this video, I've talked about brake bulk shipping and Roro shipping. These are two different types of shipping methods that are used to transport cargo that doesn't fit into standard shipping containers. Brake bulk shipping is more expensive than Roro shipping, but it is also more flexible and can be used to transport a wider variety of cargo. If you have any questions about brake bulk shipping or Roro shipping, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.